Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, from the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 Good morning, dear friends in Jesus Christ. Today, we are in the gospel we are going to read. Even the unclean spirit is speaking to Jesus, you are the son of God. Don't disturb us. So even the evil spirit is witnessing that Jesus is the son of God. And also, the, evil, the unclean spirit knows the power of uh, Jesus. If it's so, we, the human being, more and more we should proclaim that Jesus is God. Jesus is son of the living God. And uh, friends, uh, those who are proclaiming Jesus is the son of God, uh, they will be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, that's what the gospel says. Those who are uh, proclaiming Jesus is the son of God, uh, they will be saved. So today, you and I, we are here to proclaim Jesus is the son of God uh, because uh, he saved us. Every day he is in the altar of uh, saving. Therefore, today, we ask Jesus, Jesus, we are witnessing you. So those who are baptized, we are the Christians. We are carrying the name of Christ. So in every walk of life, we should witness Jesus is the Son of God. That is the witness, that is the identity that you and I got it. Because Jesus is within us. Jesus is in us. Therefore, you and I will be saved very, very particularly that those who are Christians. So therefore, the moments that we failed to realize and we failed to proclaim that Jesus is the Son of God, those moments you ask God's pardon and mercy and also the sins, the unforgiveness and all the unwanted things that which we have in day-to-day -day life, and ask pardon and mercy that uh, the loving God, uh, one who is the spotless lamp of God, uh, is going to help us uh, and going to remove, going to wash away all our sins and iniquities uh, so that uh, God will become a renewing us. Uh, so we will become the children of God. Uh, we will be witnessing God. So therefore, ask those moments we failed, uh, know the activities, the day-to-day -day activities. So God has given an wonderful time. Those times we failed to make use. Those moments ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words. words. In, in what, what I have done, done and, and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through, through my fault, through, through my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. first reading a reading from the first book of samuel chapter 18 verses from 6 to 9 and chapter 19 verses from 1 to 7 chapter 18 verses from 6 to 9 and chapter 19 verses from 1 to 7 while the armies were coming home when david returned from killing the philistine the women came out of all the towns of israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the women sang to one another as they made merry. Saul has killed his thousands, and David is ten thousands. Saul was very angry, for this saying displeased him. He said, they have ascribed to David ten thousand, and to me they have ascribed thousands. What more can he have but the kingdom? So Saul eyed David from that day on. Saul spoke to with his son Jonathan and with all his servants about killing David. But Saul's son Jonathan took great delight in David. Jonathan told David, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, be on guard tomorrow morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are. And I will speak to my father about you. If I learn anything, I will tell you. Jonathan spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, The king should not sin against his servant David. Because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have been of good service to you, for he took his life in his hand when he attacked the Philistine. And the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel. You saw it and rejoiced. Why then will you sin against an innocent person by killing David without cause? Saul heeded the voice of Jonathan. Saul swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. So Jonathan called David and related all these things to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, your response shall be, in God I trust and I am not afraid. In God I trust, I am not afraid. Be gracious to me, O God, for people tremble on me all day long, for oppress me. My enemies tremble on me all the day long, for many fight against me. Response, in God I trust, I am not afraid. You have kept count of my tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat in the day when I call your response. In God I trust, I am not afraid. This I know that God is for me in God whose word I praise. In the Lord whose word I praise, 
In God I trust, I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? Response. In God I trust, I am not afraid. My oaths to you I must perform a God. I will render thanks offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling so that I may walk before God in the light of life. Response. In God I trust, I am not afraid. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our Savior Jesus Christ has done away with death and brought us life through the gospel. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. And glory to you, O Lord. Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. Jesus departed with his disciple to the sea. And a great multitude from Galilee followed him. Hearing all that he was doing, they came to him in great numbers. From Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, beyond the Jordan, and all the region around Tyre and Sidon. Jesus told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. For he had cured many, so that all who had diseases passed upon him to touch him. Whenever the unclean spirits saw Jesus, they fell down before him and shouted, You are the Son of God. But he sternly ordered them not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Bread and wine we bring to you, Lord, work of our human hands, soon to become your body and blend. Jesus yourself, may all who share this meal divine be one. Humbly we bring ourselves to you, Lord. Take our hearts, take our will, all that we have and all that we do, we give to you, all for you. Our Savior and our God. Pray, brethren, that the sacrifice may be acceptable to the God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sacrificing, sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the way, waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the virgin, 
by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with the angels and archangels with the thrones and the dominions and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth of love your glory O Son and the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Loving Lord, we offer Mrs. Usha in your hand. She is suffering from the nose pain that the doctor asked her to operation. Loving Lord, touch her so that she may be get rid of her sickness, free away from her operation. Loving Father, we offer Chitanda's brother who died this morning, early morning. So bring her in your lightness so that he may get a perpetual light from you. Loving Father, we offer all the families, those who are in front of this altar and watching this Mass. Loving Father, do miracle in their life so that they may walk in your light. They may tell you that you are the Son of God, Son of the Living God. You are the Messiah. Jesus is the name forever. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Tumabala, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, may the receiving of your body and blood not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy, free all us from sins and free all our evil, and keep, all, keep us always faithful to your commandments, loving Lord, never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ be safe for eternal life. Amen. Love is his word, love is his way, feasting with all, fasting alone, living and dying, rising again, love only, love is his way. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, better than splendor and wealth. 
Richer than gold is the love of my Lord. Better than splendor and wealth. Let us close for a moment. Close for your eyes. And feel the presence of God within you. And rest yourself into his hands. So that he may make this day a great day. A blessing day. And all the things... today whatever you do god will bring you success believe that god is with you and believe that god is touching you and one who is within you is a not ordinary person it's an extraordinary person you believe him because he will do extraordinary things in your life that sometimes it is beyond your imagination God will do miracles because uh, any human, any human he cannot do miracles but uh, only God because he is uh, an extraordinary. He makes you great. He makes you great. Endurance to today, your thoughts, your deeds, your actions, uh, wherever we go today, whatever you do today, whomever you meet today and endurance everything into his faith. feet he will carry you wherever you want he will carry you he will reach you in trust him trust him god is in you the great god is with you the great god is with you he is going to make you great believe jesus i surrender myself in your hand make me mold me as you like as you want you enlighten me where you, i want to go protect my senses protect my five senses so that i may realize you walk in your light i am the light of the world says the lord whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life let us pray grant we pray almighty god that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life We may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.